Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we need to get the Star Sapphires moved into the 40 gallon breeder that used to house the Jewel Cichlids. They're gone, they went to auction. We need to rescape that tank. The white sand was giving us fits. It was trapping a lot of debris. So we're gonna get that out of there. We're gonna get the rest of the fake plants and things out of there and try to do a better job, make that tank look a little nicer, get the Star Sapphires in, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so this is where we're starting. This was the old Jewel Cichlid tank. And right now there's a couple of plecos, bristlenose plecos, and two synodontist cats that have to come out. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and set up a five gallon bucket, throw them in there, uh, put an air stone in. I'm going to use the tank water so that they've got the exact same water parameters that they're in right now. The sponge filter, I'm probably just going to throw in the geophagus tank temporarily just so that it stays wet, stays cycled. Uh, we'll keep air running through it. And that will give me the opportunity to then drain the water out of this tank, get all of this nasty white sand. So if we see here, this is what this tank looked like just about all the time. And it wasn't for lack of trying. We constantly were vacuuming the substrate, but eventually it would start to clump up in this pool filter sand. And because the jewel cichlids don't really do a whole lot with the sand, they weren't you know, sifting through it or anything, it just started to clump up and look terrible. And it looked terrible real soon after putting this tank together. So not a big deal when you've got geophagus in there or some African cichlids that go through and, or at least you know, rift lake African cichlids that go through and sift through the sand. But when you've got fish that aren't really interacting with it and they're producing a fair amount of waste, this is what you get. Uh, at least this is what we got. So this is coming out. We're still going to use sand because we still have African cichlids going in here, but it's going to be the black uh, National Geographic sand. And what's nice about that is you can gravel vac it in a sense. You can uh, put the gravel vac right up on the sand and it will, it does a really good job of staying down. It's a little bit heavier. The grains are a little bit larger. All right, so while we don't have an auto water change system, this system has been working out really well for us. So I've got my hose in there and it just runs right down, right into that PVC, which goes the entire perimeter of our basement, right into a floor drain. So while this thing is draining, I can go ahead and get these synodontis and the plecos out of this tank and get that sponge filter out of there as well. Okay, so I've got my two synodontis. Turns out there were three bristlenose plecos in there, not two. So they're in this five gallon bucket. The sponge filter's in there, it's not hooked up, but I do have some air running in there. Just why not? You know, why even risk them having any issues? So they're in there, they're happy. Look over here, tank is almost drained. Just letting the uh, pump or the, the drain do its thing. So we're gonna get that down until it stops running. And then I gotta, probably the biggest pain is gonna be scooping all that white sand out of there, uh, but I don't anticipate too many problems, so that's going to be next step after this water is cleared out. All right, so this tank is pretty well cleared out. I used a uh, unused paint scraper to get the rest of the sand out. I just took a Tupperware and scooped out most of it. It's in that five gallon bucket down there. Uh, the rest of it, like I said, I used that paint scraper, nice flat surface, got the vast majority of the rest of the sand out. So now it looks like it's time to begin putting in the new substrate, getting in some uh, hardscaping. So that's next up. Okay, so we got the Nat Geo black sand in. I think it's going to look a lot nicer than the white nasty sand that I couldn't keep clean. No matter how hard we try, we just couldn't do it. So now we've got the black sand in. Next up, we gotta add some hardscape. All right, everybody, so here we have the after. And so we've got the black Nat Geo sand. I did reuse this piece of wood just because I find it very interesting. Uh, and then I've got the rock that we got from a local uh, landscaping place. So this, it's relatively simple. Uh, again, it's you know, not gonna win any hardscaping awards of the year, but I think it's going to be better than what we had before. And once we get the fish in, it's gonna look, I think it's gonna, they're gonna enjoy it. Okay, so here are the Star Sapphires in their brand new home seem to be taken to it uh, pretty well. So there are six of them in here. There are four up front here, sorry for the glare. And then there's two behind the rocks. I put the three plecos back in along with the two synodontis. 
but you could see they're already starting to pick through the sand, starting to explore. They've only been in this tank for, there's another one, a couple minutes. So it's a good sign to see them out and about kind of exploring. Again, there's another one in here somewhere besides the five that you see. And now the next thing is really just kind of waiting for these guys to grow a little bit larger and get some color. And we can already start to see the blue is starting to come in. And they're gonna look cool. They're gonna get blue. They'll have some white uh, spots throughout their body as well. So definitely looking forward to seeing these guys uh, grow a little bit larger, a little bit faster with this larger tank. All right, everyone. So we made the tank look a little bit nice. We got the star sapphires in there. It's by no means gonna win in an aquascape contest, but it probably looks better than it did before. And that's really what we're aiming for is the incremental improvements in the tanks that we have. And so we're gonna be looking at our other tanks and making those look a little bit nicer when we can. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.